the aim of this experiment is to determine the head loss due to sudden expansion of pipe and the apparatus required for conducting this experiment are mentioned here and all the apparatus which we use in conducting this experiment are made by Gunt Hamburg Germany for conducting this experiment in the laboratory you can follow this procedure this is the apparatus used for finding out the losses in pipe so we'll be conducting three experiments starting with losses in pipe due to sudden expansion then losses in pipe due to sudden contraction these are minor losses now uh, for major loss we have to find out the friction loss in the straight pipe which is in the second row of the pipe from the above this apparatus is called SM150 which is the best module for every experiment and this apparatus is made by Gun Hamburg Germany since we are doing an experiment for sudden expansion the pipe which is connected to the manometer should be connected one at the inlet and the other this is the second pipe at the outlet for finding out the losses in pipe due to sudden expansion two pipe is connected one at the inlet and one at the outlet which is later connected to the manometer which is at the left side of the apparatus from there you have to find out the pressure head difference by seeing at the manometer the pressure head at the inlet and the outlet of the pipe is shown in this manometer when the flow is flowing steady the pressure head difference between the inlet and outlet gives the actual head loss now the pump is on and the water started flowing from the inlet to the outlet so check all the pump whether they are open or closed so if we are doing experiment for sudden expansion the valve for sudden expansion should be open then the water went directly into the outflow for finding out actual discharge we have to push this plug which help in collecting the water and we have to compare the amount of water collected with the time so if we start from 5 and we'll wait till 10 so that it will collect 5 liter of water So for 5 liter starting from 5 we got 13.7 second. As we know the actual discharge is equal to volume by time. So we got the volume as 5 liter and the time is 13.7. Then easily we can find out the actual discharge. The formula we use for finding out head loss due to sudden expansion of 5 is given here which is equal to V1 minus V2 whole square by 2Z where V1 and V2 are the velocity at inlet and outlet respectively now for absorption table we can find out the discharge by using the formula volume by time and the velocity V1 and V2 are the velocity at the inlet and the outlet which we can find out by using the formula Q equal to AV at the time is the time we got in the stopwatch and theoretical head loss is the head loss we found by using the formula given in the manual and the actual head loss are the head loss which we find out during the experiment and the difference between those with the theoretical head loss and actual head loss can be written in the variance